Good day, this is Brad Caleb, PhD. And my PhD stands for Post Hole Dicker. You wonder what in the world is that for a title? I see, reality is that I got my PhD through the Desert University. Yes, have you ever noticed that life can be tough? I mean, tough times never last, but tough people do. That doesn't mean that you're perfect, but it means that certain things can go just the opposite. You're young, you plan things to go the way you want it to be. You want to be a millionaire before your age 30. You reach that level and all of a sudden death confronts you. Maybe death of your parents, maybe death of your own children or your wife or your husband. Things that you have no control over. And then your perspective changes. Now, I've noticed that sometimes it doesn't have to be that heavy. Sometimes it's just a simple email. The ignorance of emails. When I say ignorance, they ignore your emails. You have a complaint, you write in, you sign up, you write in, you want your money back. All the talk about whatever they're saying is all of a sudden nobody responds. Because money, uh, what do you mean? It's my money. No, sir. Or no, ma'am. When you promise something, you got to deliver. I've learned that the hard way in my own life. If you promise something to your customers, you got to deliver. And if you can't deliver, at least apologize. And let them know that you have a sincere intent to return it ASAP. See, things happen in life. We are all well aware of it. But reality is something else. How do you respond to the people that you're dealing with? When I say response, do you respect them? For you, 25 bucks is just times 100,000. You don't care. For the other person, that $25 is a lot of money. Maybe that's all they have. They want to change their life, but that 25 bucks is a lot of money. And that is why I wanted this video to go out for those that are so excited about how much money they can make. But it is not about the money, folks. It's about the intention and the life response that you make in life. When I say life response, I mean respond to other people. How do you go along and get along with others? How do you respect them? Money is just an exchange of what we do and what we are in a way of our capabilities of delivering services to others. But if money is just a measuring lint for you to show how much you're worth, then you're worth nothing. Because money is from a different kingdom. You see, when we talk about communication, the first communication was disturbed in paradise. Adam and Eve were in training, were apprentices. The real apprenticeship was in paradise. God, the creator, Jehovah Jireh, the creator, the one that created this world, set us up to communicate. And the first thing that got disrupted was the communication becomes between the creator and us, mankind, humanity. And that is where it started. Why is communication so important? Because if I communicate, that means I listen also to what you say. And I intend to listen, or I do listen. There are two differences. I intend, I hear you, but you don't listen. And when you listen carefully, you might hear that the question is not about the subject. The question is deeper. I want to communicate with you. I want to share something. I want my concern to be heard or whatever the intention is of that question. Quite often the question is a doubt about your performance. If you cannot perform the way you claim to be, then a question is justified. Therefore, folks, communication is so important for each one of us. When we live in this society, we need to adapt. 
So today I figured finally out my Outlook. I tried Outlook in 2000. I disliked it. I tried it in 2001. I disliked it. So I never used it since then. I've always used something else. But today there was an email sent to me and there was an explanation about certain changes they have made. And I tried it again. Now it's 2021, that is 21 years later. And you know what? They changed. It goes a whole lot easier. And I'm using it now because with all the artificial intelligence and the robots that they're using, it goes nice and smooth, swift. Am I going to stay with it? I'm not sure. This is just about 10 or 15 minutes ago. It took me actually an hour to set it all up and do whatever I have on my computer, run through it and so on. But now I got it running. I'm excited about the fact that I was willing to change because the hardest part I find in life is, are you willing to change? And that brings me to the real subject. Do you want to intersect? Do you want to communicate? Do you want to hear what the message is all about? Life has changed, folks. We don't live in the 60s anymore. We don't live in the 80s anymore. We live in the 20s. Uh, excuse me, 2022 is almost around the corner. It's November 2021. And yes, we have to change because society has changed. Are you willing to listen? How we earn our money today is different than how we did it 50 years ago. But some of us have a hard time to switch. It's called a paradigm shift. We got to think here and we got to realize we have here something that we call a brain. They say six inches or 12 inches. It's about as wide as a hand between your two ears. That's where everything happens. Riches are generated in your brain. Can you switch? Can you switch and turn off the past and create a new future? If you're willing to do that, then I'm excited to share with you that we can work together. Now, this is just a short rumbling of a fellow that was annoyed with emails that got not responded to. I send them off one, two, three, four, five, and now with my um, Outlook perfectly in order. I can see exactly how, what, and where. But the reality is, are you going to communicate? Are you looking forward to a change in your life? Because the way it is going, you have to adopt or you will drown. This is Brad Kayla, PhD. And my PhD stands for Post Hole Dicker. For we continue to dig till we hit the proper foundation where you can build your solid house. Remember, tough times never last, but tough people, they do. God bless you. Bye for now.